moment. Uh, and then the hope is obviously that as we, once we get something that we can tweak it, go along and kind of get somewhere else with it. But your, your point is so well taken that, you know, those folks who are below the poverty line certainly have, have, uh, have some medical options available to them. And those folks who can afford it can, pur can purchase, you know, they can go to any, any insurance company and purchase it. So it is that middle class working family that is getting squeezed out of health care. There's no question about that. We and fully just, recognize it. And we appreciate your participation very much. Just so you know that the House version of the bill that, actually does more for low income working families in terms mm -hmm. of providing mm -hmm. more subsidies to be able to purchase insurance. Now, what's going to happen is the House is going to have to accept the Senate bill, but then the reconciliation bill, which is going to be the companion, they're going to tweak the Senate bill to make it more along the lines of the House bill to help people just like you to be able to afford to buy insurance. And I want to make one more comment that Tiffany made is that, you're right, this isn't a perfect bill, but one of the great things in this bill is that it does a lot more regulation of the insurance industry, which we all know is absolutely yeah. critical because they take advantage of people, especially people who have pre-existing conditions, they can't get health care now, and that's all going to be changed. And so, so that's why we, this is a good step forward and we should support it. John and Tiffany, do you know do the insurance reforms, do those go into effect right away? The, like the pre-existing conditions and because uh, I know the insurance part, a lot of this doesn't go into effect for till 2013, I think. No so. pre-existing condition and rescission, I believe, is in the first year. I believe that's correct. I, but, but again, we all have to remember, and John just mentioned it, that is the reconciliation portion, and some of that stuff could be changed somewhere in there. So it's hard to say it will be. And that's been the problem with some of this is you, it's hard to say this is what it will be because right. until it's actually right. done, we can't say that. And I don't want somebody to say, you said it will be, and then I have to try to explain that in reconciliation they took that out because when we were standing here it was, and in reconciliation it's no longer. So This I just, just came say, in for you. Oh. Kill the bill. <laughs> yeah. Kill the bill now. So our opponents are busy. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we've had some interesting, nice phone calls. Did, yes, sir, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, okay. She said that pass it and then we'll figure it out later. To me, that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's why I'm here. I, I don't think that that, I think that I'm sure she, she may have said that. Uh, she may have said that. But I, I, don't, I don't think she means it in that callous sort of curt way. I think she simply means let's get something done so that you know we can get it operational and we can show that just like Medicare and just like other programs, the federal government can run it efficiently and effectively. So, yes ma'am. So, we need to realize that and you need to realize you'll be seeing some of us every week till that reconciliation is done then too. Well, well hopefully. That will just be next week. That will be next week. Yes, oh, ma'am. We're hoping that, because typically that will happen, we're hoping to have it done and on the President's desk um, it, by the end of next week. With the so, reconciliation bill along with it? Yeah, yeah. That's the hope. That is the hope that it will be finished. It will be finished in this, let's call it, first round. <laughs> it will be finished in this first round, and we'll have something to at least say we, we got somewhere, and then, you know, everything post that will, will be part of the whole, once we have something, can we make it better, and what are the right tweaks to make sure that we, that we fix it properly. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, we so. need to get our foot in the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. No, what are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> Pelosi's never lost a vote, so. <laughs> um, I think they're very good. If you'd asked me before Christmas, I would have told you it was. I didn't think it was going to happen. So um, I think they're very good. I think the momentum's on our side, thanks to efforts like this around the country, because you guys are not the only ones who've been doing this every week yeah. around the country, and members are getting the message. Um, and so we really, I, I, I'm feeling very confident that it will, that it will happen. Why are Democrats such slow learners? <laughs> that could be, that could be a lesson for history. <laughs> it's sort of like people say, why are we doing, why are we rushing this? And those of us who know anything about the history of this country, we're not rushing health care. <laughs> it's been decades we've been trying. The, the first, you know, I lots of people. About that. Yeah. I think. Democrats are nice people, but Democrats always believe in the minority voice. Let the minority have their voice. You know, there are these groups over here and that Even group over there. Even if they're Republicans. There. Even oh. if they're Republicans, they have a right to have a voice just as we do. And I think the process in a democratic society, it is slow, but it needs to happen. That's why, Medi that's why Medicare has been so successful and some of our other programs. It took a while for the process, and some of us do get anxious, 
but we try to keep our dignity at the same time. How's that working so far? <laughs> Slow. Always dignity here. Always dignity here. Two final comments. Um, just so everybody in the room knows that there is activity just like today occurring this afternoon in Jackson in yes. supporting of Mark Schauer and his efforts. Uh -huh. This coming Saturday, we're doing a rally in downtown Flint to try and put some Grand gentle Rapids. pressure. Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> You've been traveling the state, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we're going to Grand Rapids on Saturday to put some gentle pressure on Vern Ehlers, who is no longer, who's retiring at the end of this term, and we're hoping he will do the right thing. And then next Tuesday, we're doing a press conference in Lansing, once again, just to talk about the need for health care reform. And my second point is to Tiffany directly that we know that Dale may face some opposition in his re-election campaign, but all of us are going to be there to help him get re-elected because we because of these votes, and we know he's doing the right thing. So well, we do it. We Mr. Kildee always says, you know, that uh, you don't make votes for re-election. That's that's the coward way. Leadership is that you make votes based upon uh, the right thing to do. Um, and uh, so it's easy for us to say we're in, in, a, in a district that's, you know, different than some others. But um, I will say that we appreciate your support. We appreciate your friendship, many of you, for years and years and years. I've been around this game for about 24 myself. So I can't tell you how much, you know, we appreciate your support and your friendship. Um, and on this issue, it has been vital to us, not just from a perspective of, of being able to say that you exist because the other side doesn't think you exist. But from the perspective of this staff, this staff people here have been beat up bad. Um, our entire staff, and that's, I'm not asking for your sympathy, I'm simply saying that it's been nice for us to have people come in and say we support you because it is, it, you know, we, it's been a very trying time um, in the sense of the way people call and the things they have to say. So it's a very trying time. Um, have you received so, any, like, Really threatening phone calls. We get a lot of that. <laughs> we get a lot of that, but it uh, comes with the territory. <laughs> That's right. If you want a safe job, go find another one in this if business. They, <laughs> do you get the That's sense that they are really from the Flint area? Oh no, no. We the phone banks in the last three days have been That's not. We, the closest one we had was Rochester Hills. Yesterday we had somebody from Rochester Hills. We're like, well, at least you're in the state, uh, because most many of them have been coming That's from. What they did and they're phone banked. And we can tell they're phone banked because they call all three numbers. Um, and you can so, hear people talking in the background. <laughs> And they're all saying kind of the same things, but that's fine. I mean, we, our group, our side is phone bank certainly before too. So it's yeah. we don't oppose it. It's just that uh, many of them are coming from out of Michigan. That's, that's many of the I calls of late. Yeah. Now we get them from inside the district. Don't get me wrong, but um, certainly from outside the state has really been uh, the last couple of days. <laughs> well, one thing I wanted to say is how well we get along with the office and the staff here is uh, Tiffany's on the email list, so when the alerts go out that we're organizing and stuff, she gets them all, and we're not afraid to let her know what we're doing. And, Absolutely. And uh, there's been times recently that uh, we she's emailed me and said, well, that's not quite the way it was in the office, but uh, I, I, I think the, the point went out, and uh, it got people aware that we're this close, and we need to put some pressure on, and uh, here we are. And uh, again, I want to thank everybody that came out. We appreciate all your efforts. Well, thank and you. Tiffany? Thank you, everyone. Richard came down to a rally in Madison Heights. He did. And we just really appreciate him coming down. It was wonderful for him to show and, and hear the other activists. Yeah, it's great. You better say what you said. Well, thank you very much. So are we having a party next week? Is that what our plan is next week? <laughs>